Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss this result. So this result says if xn converges to p in x d1 if and only if xn converges to p in x d2. So this is a given thing that means these two statements are equivalent. This is a given information and what we have to prove we have to prove that d1 and d2 are equivalent matrix. Okay, so let us start with the given information. What we have let me write we have we have xn converges to p in x d1 if and only if xn converges to p in x d2 this is given information that means if you ha have sequence xn any sequence xn converges to p in matrix space x d1 then it that same sequence converges to same point in matrix space x d2 and in the reverse way also we have the same thing okay so this is a given information what we have to prove we have to prove that d1 and d2 are equivalent matrix so let me mention to prove that d1 and d2 are equivalent matrix okay so will you tell me when we say two matrix are equivalent so actually there are several definitions and some results also we have proved so those results also we can use here okay for example when we say two matrix are equivalent if family of d1 open sets is equal to family of d2 open sets okay if these two families are equal then we say matrix are equivalent there is one more way to say the same thing if uh, let me draw here if d1 open ball if you have any d1 open ball in last video also we have seen this if you have any d1 open ball there exists some d2 open ball inside it and if you have any d2 open ball there is some d1 open ball inside it if you have this thing then also we say d1 and d2 are equivalent matrix but see there is one more way to prove two matrix are equivalent every d1 open set suppose g is d1 open set implies g is d2 open set if you have any d1 open set then it should be d2 open set and every d2 open set must be d1 open set then also we can say the two matrix are equ equivalent getting so i'm going to use this way to prove these two matrix are equivalent so let us start with one any d1 open set late g b d1 open set so i have taken any d1 open set and my target is to prove that g is d2 open set so we have to prove g is d2 open set also okay so how to prove any set is open there are several definitions again if the complement of set is closed then we say the mat that uh, set is open so we have to prove g is d2 open set that is to prove though it is enough to prove its complement that means x minus g is d2 open set if complement sorry d2 close set if complement is close then we say the set is open so now our target is the set d2 should be close set so let me remove this one so we'll have some more space to write so now our target is fixed our final target is to prove that x minus g is d2 closed set but see there is one more question how to prove that any set is closed see there is one result if a is equal to a bar okay then a is closed if and only thing is there actually so you can consider it as a definition also if a is equal to a bar then a is closed so here we have to prove x minus g is closed that means we have to prove that is to prove that is to prove that x minus g bar is equal to x minus g in x d2 so now we have understood what we have to prove we have to prove x minus g bar is equal to x minus g do you know the definition of a bar a bar means a union a dash so obviously a is subset of a bar since a bar is formed by taking union of these two sets so obviously each of them is subset of a bar 
So here also, so one thing is obvious clearly, let me mention clearly x minus g is subset of x minus g bar. So this is so much obvious thing. So I am writing uh, it as, okay, I am calling it as uh, statement number 1. So actually we have to prove these two sets are equal. That means how to prove two sets are equal? We prove first set is subset of second and then we prove the second set is subset of first. So out of these two, one thing we have got. We have got this set is subset of this one. Now our next target is to prove this set is subset of this one. Getting? Now we have to prove x minus g bar subset of x minus g. So tell me how we prove first set is subset of second. How to prove a subset of b? What we do, we take one point from the first set and we prove that it is in second set. Then we say the first set is subset of second. Same technique I will use to this, uh, to use to prove this, okay? So let us take one point, let, let x belongs to x minus g bar. I have taken one point from x minus g bar. I have taken point from the closure of set x minus g. One result we have seen, suppose this is set A and there is a point in a closure X. So if you have any point in a closure of A, that result says you can find a sequence of points of A. So you will get some sequence of points of A which converges to that point X. So here X belongs to closure. So there exists a sequence, there exists a sequence Xn of points of x minus g such that xn converges to x in x uh, in x d2 getting yes let me remove this one uh, so we have a point from closure so definitely you can find sequence xn of points of x minus g which converges to x in x d2 so let us use the given information. If you have any convergent sequence in x d2, then it same sequence converges to same point in x d1 also. So by given information, by given information, we can write by given information, what can we write? Xn converges to x in x d1. Getting Xn converges to x in d1. So let me write what we have. Therefore, xn is a sequence of points of x minus g. So I am writing the same thing which I have written here. xn is a sequence of points of x minus g such that actually I am writing the same thing. That means I am write, writing a conclusion here. Okay, what we have got such that xn converges to x in x d1. You are getting so it is a sequence of points of x minus g and converges to x. That means that point lies in a closure of x minus g. Okay, closure of x minus g. So make a screenshot of it first, then I will write the next steps. So therefore, what can we write? We are getting a sequence of points of x minus g and it converges to x. Therefore, that x belongs to x minus g bar. You are getting converges to x minus g therefore it is in closure of x minus g okay but see what we have in x d1 i should mention in x d1 it is happening in x d1 uh, let me tell you one thing so you can easily understand one result we have already seen if any point in a closure then you can find a sequence which converges to that point and the reverse part is also there that means if you find any sequence converges to x, then that point is in closure. So I'm using that second part. That means if, if you have any sequence converges to x, then x belongs to its closure. So I have written the same thing here. Okay. So let us move further. Um, see what we have uh, x minus g bar in x d1. So but what we have basically g is d1 open set. Okay. We started with same. We started with any D1 open set G. If G is D1 open set, its complement is D1 closed set. Agree? D1 closed. G is D1 open, then complement is D1 closed. Set is closed. That means its closure is same as set. Okay? In X D1. 
in x d1. So that's why this x minus g bar can be replaced by x minus g. I'm mentioning the reason here. So because of that, you can write x belongs to x minus g. We started with x belongs to x minus g bar and what we proved x belongs to x minus g. Therefore, therefore, that x minus g bar is subset of x minus g. This is 2. So here we are saying x minus g subset of x minus g bar, x minus g bar subset of x minus g, that means both sets are equal. Okay, first set is subset of second, second set is subset of first, that means both sets are equal. So what can I write from 1 and 2? From 1 and 2, that x minus g bar is equal to x minus g in x d2. Getting? In x d2. So therefore, therefore, that x minus g is d2 close set. This is one of the definition of close set. If closure of set is same as set, then it is a close set. So therefore, x minus g is d2 close set. x minus g is closed, that means g is open. Okay. But see, there is no more space to write. So make a screenshot of it first, then I will go further. So let me mention here, therefore, therefore, G is D2 open. You are getting? So X minus G is D2 close. That's, that's why it's complement G is D2 open. So therefore, actually we started with G is D1 open set. And finally what we proved G is D2 open set. So therefore, every D1 open set is d2 open every d1 open set is d2 open getting and in in the same way we can prove every d2 open set is d1 open similarly similarly we can prove that prove that every d2 open set is d1 open so what is our conclusion? Every D1 open set is D2 open. Every D2 open set is D1 open. That means D1 and D2 are equivalent matrix. D1 and D2 are equivalent matrix. Okay, so in this way, we prove this result. Make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. See you.